What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Big things are happening with Workhorse. You do have massive share fluctuations right now, mostly going down, which is pretty bad. But in this video, we'll be talking about what's going on with Workhorse. Should you guys buy it? Because this is one of my favorite companies out there in the EV market. I feel like Workhorse is really one of those underdog companies that really just tries to become really big. They're trying really hard right now, coming with working products. I mean, this is not the next Nikola Motors. This is not Luck and Coffee. They have working products. They're trying to get sales. In fact, they have several pre-orders. And what they're trying to focus in right now is a really, really big factory. They want to increase production. And also, the announcement of the USPS contract came out today. It wasn't good, shares absolutely plummeted, but now could be the perfect time to buy Workhorse because this USPS contract thing is out of the picture. Right now, people are just focusing on Workhorse's two vans, the C650 and also the C1000 minivan, which is actually pretty big for cargo. And essentially, these guys are trying to strike major deals with UPS, DHL, and also FedEx. And I feel like Workhorse is in this really weird spot right now I feel like they may be able to succeed if you're willing to gamble on this. Workhorse, absolutely enormous plummet, super painful. In fact, throughout the day, Workhorse was hovering at $28 after a recent massive drop. Now in the morning, Workhorse did drop to 24, but went back up to $28. And then before the market closed, the announcement of the USPS contract came out and the shares dropped from $27, $28 to a low price of $12.50. Share prices have somewhat recovered and it's hovering at $16.47. This is painful because Workhorse Group dropped nearly 50% because they didn't get the USPS contract. If you guys haven't been kept up with Workhorse, the USPS contract was this multi-billion dollar van contract to find a company to build a bunch of minivans for the US Postal Service. And obviously all of these logistic van companies were very enthusiastic and Workhorse was like the top three companies to choose for them. But unfortunately, they did not get that. The company that got it was these guys. And they're also working with Microvast to create these US Postal Delivery vans. This is a pretty big bummer for a lot of Workhorse guys. Remember, Workhorse had this massive surge previously, all the way up to $42.90 not because everyone was focusing on the minivans. Everyone was just so focused. And I guess people were going a little bit crazy on the USPS contract. The share prices went from $15 to $43. I think Workhorse hovering at $15, $16, dollars $17 is a normal price to hover around with. And obviously today, the people who wanted to sell off Workhorse stock, they have already sold. They're gone and they're leaving the train behind and they're probably never going to look back. Workhorse stock was always hovering at roughly $20, $17, $15 after something very catastrophic. And just like this time, Workhorse stock did go from $42.96 down to $12.50 on the bottom, but rebound pretty hard and now is stabilizing at $16.47. The reason why Workhorse hasn't went down below $16.15 and just hovered there, the reason why it hasn't hit $10 or $11 and just hovered there is because they have a factory. Workhorse's fundamentals are pretty decent, but now you also have growing competition in the electric van market. You do have General Motors' new electric van. You also have Ford's e-Transit. These are two massive giants making electric vans. And Workhorse is in the middle of this crossfire. And it's pretty scary. But on the bright side, the reason why I'm still liking Workhorse a little bit is because it dropped so much. And it also has enormous amounts of orders for the electric last mile delivery vans. And the order is growing. Pride Group Enterprises, which operates 17 retail and rental truck locations here in North America, ordered 6,320 vans. And they want this between this summer in 2026 and five times workhorse is trying to really get this thing up and going several times by the way workhorse has been delaying these contracts because the whole pandemic was going on they couldn't really get the batteries it was a pretty big bummer they only delivered a handful of trucks like seven trucks in like the last quarter in 2020 it's pretty bad but workhorse this year is expected to build 1800 vans gradually reaching a production rate of 200 vans per month. This is pretty interesting because you do have the Biden administration pushing this. 
because the Biden administration is saying how we in America should be buying electric buses, American-made electric buses. You should be buying American-made electric transportation vehicles. And Workhorse, funny enough, is an American company. And obviously they will be benefiting massively for this. Workhorse, unlike other companies out there, they have a factory and they could definitely be extremely successful if they could start cranking out these vehicles. And also Workhorse, they also had another fresh order of 500 vehicles back in November, 2020, which I also wanna add on. And they're trying to ramp up the EV delivery truck production units. This is also a very important aspect because now with the USPS contract out of the way, and honestly though, it's already super priced in now, I don't really think you should be shorting Workhorse or buying puts for Workhorse. It has already responded to the news, but of course you do have this EV delivery truck production. It's surging and it's looking pretty good. I mean, 1800 vans this year is pretty impressive. And then 200 vans eventually the next couple years per month. I think Workhorse is on a very good track. Don't get too caught up with the USPS contract. Yes, Workhorse didn't get it. It's a pretty big bummer. It really, really sucks. And this is why the share prices drop so much but don't just lay there and think about that. Right now, this could be an extremely good buying opportunity. Workhorse is at $16.47, and they do have a huge amount of orders of vans. They want to be increasing production. Leave the thoughts of the USPS contracts behind. The reason why the share prices even surged from $23 to $43 was because of the upcoming USPS contract. Every time when the share prices go down was there was no contract or the delay of the contract. And now with the news out of the way, we could finally see Workhorse's true colors and Workhorse's stock, its true colors is roughly 16 to $17. That seems like an extremely fair value for this company. Instead of being valued at like pennies back a couple years ago, it's now valued in several dollars because of their factory. It's a really fuzzy company. It's really up for you to decide as a consumer if you wanna go in a lot. It is a pretty dangerous company because there could be another wave of selling off for the stock. But honestly, I feel like the people who wanted to sell already sold. The volume today was 75.7 .7 million, whereas the average volume for Workhorse is roughly 10 to 17 million, meaning virtually all of the 75 million volume that happened today were selling rather than buying. And the stock price absolutely plummeted. It's really painful. That's why, guys, thanks for watching. Comment below. Before you guys leave, definitely check out the free Discord server link in the description below. More than 28,000 members and counting, it's free to join. There's also a Patreon link below. Definitely check that out as well. So far, Workhorse is hovering at a pretty good pace. I'm actually really liking the stock. I feel like big things could definitely happen. And that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching.